first thing I do. Uh, and only so I can put blood in my chops and get them to buy me. This isn't. Yeah. Huge difference, isn't it? And I wasn't doing anything like that. Uh, but well, when you do that, I mean, you do that in a horn. I mean, if, a lot of guys used to do that in Vegas or in the show bands, where I really, you know, it was also about visual. Uh, well, they go like that, but my goodness, it's hard enough to play it as it is. Now, rather than do this kind of thing and all these people, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm not kidding at all. That was like a big thing, you know? But listen to the difference. I'll jerk it for you, and then I'll, I'll do it without the jerk. And when I don't jerk it, you'll hear the harmonics go straight This is jerking. And when I do these ex exercises, I can feel my stomach tightening as I go up. I don't know if you can see it. placing the air in exactly the right place into the horn. And of course the horn and the mouthpiece are, are very crucial here too. Would you think, would you say that Chuck? Uh, absolutely Tom, and when you mention sound, uh, and when you think about it, the sound is, uh, it's, like you said, I, th I think it's probably the most important thing is the sound. Because when you hear, that's how you identify somebody. When you hear, you hear Tom play just now, uh, if you heard it on the record, you know that it was Tom that played that. Um, just like uh, on the total different extremity, uh, you hear Maynard, you know it's Maynard, okay? We all know why. Um, you hear Conte Condoli play, you know it's Conte Condoli. You hear Frank Rossellino play, you know it's Frank Rossellino. Uh, everybody, we all have different fingerprints, and we're all different. And uh, you, you, have, you should really be yourself, you know, when, when growing up, and playing and listening to the sound, like Tom was saying, I, my first idol was Bobby Hackett, because I played cornet and Bobby Hackett. And if you don't know who Bobby Hackett is, you really should listen to him, because uh, what a musical player Bobby Hackett was. So that was my first idol. So I tried to sound like Bobby Hackett. Then it went from there to, <laughs> believe it or not, Maynard was the next one. My brother's eight years older, and he had the vinyls. That I listened to. So all of a sudden, I'm from Coronet playing some nice melodic lines like Bobby Hackett played, to Maynard playing double C's and stuff. I'm like, my goodness, you know, what a culture shock that was. So then you, you, you try to imitate that. And then with all the other players you listen to and their identity, and then you find yourself. And that's the most important thing, I think, is when you find out who you are. And so when you hear a record and I'm playing on it, you know it's me, that it's not somebody else. When Tom plays on a record, you know it's Tom. Um, that is the tone and the sound that Tom, I think, is actually talking about. And ended up getting to play with, too. Yeah, I got to meet with him and hang out with him. And, uh... Well, he's one heck of a player you'd want to, as a first idol, my goodness. Uh, the, the way he played was just absolutely unbelievable and, and fantastic. So, so that's, uh, that was your first idol. He was known more of a, a kind of a swing player, I guess. He, he was more oh. of a Tommy Dorsey, uh, big band type uh, trombone player, but he was just, he played everything perfectly, and he was right in tune, yeah. wonderful sound, perfect articulation. Uh, I think as time went on, I sort of developed my own style. I guess I'm more known as a um, rhythm and blues rock and roll trombone player, probably, but uh, it's 
better than having no reputation, right? Well, you know, I, <laughs> interesting. I actually, I just told a gentleman. Uh, a, a, a lot of uh, question and answer time as things go along. But what we're going to, uh, we're going to start out in, um, we know what some of your questions are going to be, and we're just going to go ahead and answer a few of those right now. Uh, and we'll do some demonstrations of some of these principles. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about general grasp language. 